and this here ought to be pretty easy. Clamping it might be a little bit of a challenge. We just slap a lot of glue on there and glue her down. One of the biggest problems I have anytime I'm making something like this is waiting. I don't like to wait. Like once I get it glued, then I can't work on it because the glue's wet. And I say dang and dang again because I, I I actually want to just roll. You know, I'm like when I start a project, I don't want to stop till I'm done with it. But can't always make it happen that way. Sometimes you just have to be patient. And let the glue dry. Dang. Anyway. That's what I'll do. I'll be patient, even if I don't want to. I'll be patient. Dang, dang, I said, dang again. Hmm. All right. Where's my block of wood? Here it is. Just smash that right on there. Good. Well, it'd be nice if I could get a clamp on that. Oops, I got some stuff coming out the edges there. Well, I was trying to figure out how to clamp that thing. I guess the best way to clamp is just to let it stand there and let its own weight push down on it. And I can't get a clamp on there because of all the odd shapes. Uh, but while that's drying, I'll go uh, upstairs and see if I can find me some guitar strings. Well, let's see. Here's some guitar strings. They're old. So am I. Uh, uh, I might be able to find something better than them. I don't know if they'd be long enough anyway, but... The banjo strings, the first four, would be the same as the first four on here, so all I would need is these two big strings. I guess if I had to, I could borrow these two big strings and use them, and then he could put a new strings on it if he wanted to. I was kind of thinking I might string it with nylon strings, and oh lord, I've got boxes and boxes and boxes of banjo stuff here. If I can find them, I might have some. I'll turn the camera off and do a little search in here. Alrighty then, I went looking for guitar strings and the first thing I uncovered was this thing here. It says, uh, the Dario Classical Guitar. I thought, oh goody, I'm so glad I never throw anything away. So I looked and there's a first string, second string, third string. Oops, third string, no fourth and no fifth. I need the fifth and the sixth string, but here is a uh, 24. Uh, gauge and here's a 26 gauge and here's a 30 gauge and here's a 34 of course this is a mandolin string but I'm thinking okay 34 that'll do for the sixth string at 30 that ought to do for the fifth string this uh, 24 well probably from there I'll use uh, I've got a set of uh, nylon strings so I'll probably use nylon strings after that but yeah I can make well I could even use here's a first string second string third string this is uh, not going to tell me that it's not going to tell me the gauge on these but uh, you know that could be first string second string third string and this 24 could be the fourth string fifth string sixth string that would do it by golly I think I can make it work